evening and welcome to the selectmen's meeting on Tuesday, January 23rd, 2018. If you'd like to join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I would like uh, a motion to, to approve uh, the expense warrant and a payroll warrant. Uh, the expense warrant is one nine eighteen for three hundred and four thousand and four dollars and eighteen cents, and the payroll warrant is for one eighteen eighteen for one hundred and fifty nine thousand dollars and no one hundred and fifty nine thousand forty two dollars and fifty cents. You have that motion. Second. Any discussion? Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And then um, I would like to have the selectmen's meeting of 1918 approved. You have that motion? Second. Any discussion? All, all in favor? Aye. 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 Announcements. The Adena Archaeology Project presentation public meeting. Eric Johnson head of the archaeology department of UMass will present the findings and recommendations from what was called the Camp Graham Project at 6.30 p.m. on February 13th in the banquet hall of the town hall. A snow date will be February 20th. This project confirmed the existence of an Adena connection culture living on Quaybaugh Pond 3,000 years ago, if not longer. There is evidence of pottery making at the site at the time of the founding of Troy, 1000 BC. All are invited to attend as this information has both town and regional significance. Contact Clarence Snyder at 508-637-1377 if you have any questions. Thank you. Any, does anyone else have any announcements this evening? Uh, public access. I'm a little concerned. There's a resident here. We haven't have a special. You got a special town meeting set up yet? No, not yet. We're waiting. I mean, we're almost into February. I mean, we got we put on uh, the financial team. We gave them more hours. We gave them more money, big money, and. Uh, we still haven't got any, we haven't even got the special town meeting set up. Well, we I'm a little concerned about it. Well, we're waiting for the audit to come back, finish the audit to get finished, and then it has to go to the Department of Revenue. So how many, so we're still waiting on one year free cash that has not been certified, is that correct? We don't know what, no, what free cash has been certified yet. Well, you got one year, one back year correct, uh, up to date, right, so far? Maybe you know a little more information than I know. Well, I'm kind of making a, so. a, a, a kind of a question. Well, I'm looking. We had a we had something from the town accountant. She was here last week. I don't think she said. I don't think she said. She said something that we asked her the question. She didn't get back to me uh, today. I know she was at home today working on the budget. Okay, where is it? Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, it's it's right. 22. Okay. I brought it with me. I guess I did. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, but it was 2016 was certified. Yeah, so 2016 has been certified. Right. So we're waiting on one more year then? Yep. Yep. And then after that's done, then we'll set up a meeting. Right. And I, that other year, I believe, has been submitted. It just hasn't come back yet. Yeah. You, you know, David, a lot, of, a lot of towns don't even have special town meetings. They have the annual and that's it. And then they'll wait to the following year. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm not concerned about other towns. I'm concerned well, no, about that, this is No, that's the statement that I'm making. Right. But I guess the statement I'm making is we're two years behind on, 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 our, on our books here financially. I mean, we put more people on, more secretaries. We're giving them more hours, more pay, and we're still we still have a game. So I was just wondering what what's going on. Well, we'll let you know when we find out. 
we told you we told you now what's going on and then after that I know you but we've been discussing this for quite a while well, saying that we're moving forward we, and the financial teams work ahead moving, and we are moving forward and that's all I can tell you okay what what do you have plans on the free cash we are you going to do with all that free Free we cash. don't even know the number of free cash, and we'll know better when we have it. And is anything earmarked for that free cash? Not. Uh, the only thing that is earmarked, I, know, I remember at town meeting, we had taken everything out of stabilization, and we said we would vote to put that amount back into uh, stabilization. Okay. I, I hope that happens. It, well, we're going to highly meeting, recommend it. The one meeting we had that didn't happen. Um, what are we doing on tax titles? I mean, we're, we're all paying for all these junk buildings in this town, and it's, this has been going on for years and years, too. What, where, where do we stand to try to get some of these properties gone? Well, I get know, it back on the tax rolls. Well, I, mean, I know uh, the interim treasurer that is here with us, he has entered everything into the VADAR system, and he's working on it. I know, but I, I, okay, I'm we're not trying to be. I'm not. Yeah, I'm sure we're waiting for the court to come back for the yeah. first three buildings. Yeah, okay, we're waiting for the court to come back for the first three buildings. What, what are we expecting something now? It was told to us in September that we were here within 30 days. It's obviously not 30 days, so we asked in December when that 30 day mark was going to take, take place, <laughs> and uh, we asked. Okay. Right. No, I'm just I'm just saying there's a lot of elderly people along and long and the rest of us too we're all struggling to, to pay our real estate taxes in this town and, you know all this all this property here we're not kicking anything in and you know I understand you're working on it but year after year I keep hearing the same story you know I just I, we could use that money you know for the operating so we can try to keep our taxes down here that's my next question is is our, is it is the taxes going to go up again they went down 48 they went, cents. They went down. What went down? Tax rate. The rate. Okay. Public notice a month ago. Yeah, okay. The rate went down. Yeah, I don't, That that's all fine and dandy. The rate, the assessments. But I guess my question is, is the tax bills from last year going to go down or are they going to go up this year? So, so. If nothing changes around you, they should go down. So we're going to have. Paul, if anybody understands how a tax bill is calculated, it ought to be you. And I do. That, and that's why so, I'm asking so, you if you so understand. Then, so then you're. I'm asking you that question. You, I'm asking. I know how it works. Okay. We so don't, you can set the tax rate at whatever and do the assessments. But my question is to you: Is our tax bill is going to go down this year from last year or up? So, so that's, that's my question. So that's going to depend on an individual basis, just like the answer are, always yeah. is on what your assessment is multiplied by the tax rate. Yeah, I understand So the tax rate has gone mm -hmm. down. If the property is reassessed as part of the standard process that the okay. assessor's office so you does, if the value goes up, no, you, you don't know because it's going to vary from property to property. In any given year, any individual's tax mm -hmm. bill can go up or go down regardless of the rate because we always yeah, like to I, I, the rate. Right. Okay. The rate, right, but just like Karen said, okay. it went down 40 cents. That means nothing. I think, it I, think it, I, I think it's think very important it, because from a standpoint, of, from, from, from a this, standpoint. Is one of, this is one of the first years that the tax rate has gone down instead of going up. And, and you know, it all depends too, David, on the spending that's done at town meetings. That has a the lot. The spending to do. is horrible in this town. Well, then I'll give you a statement of fact. Yeah. Okay. Clear. No, I'm giving it to you. Well, well, I'm going to listen too. Well, good. Okay, let's hear it. So. so uh, we were invited to attend a session at, in uh, the Mass Municipal Association, and we were not able to attend. However, I did receive for the second year in a row the Clear Government, and again, Steve, I would recommend that you go to the site. Uh, Cleargovernment.com has uh, an analyzed average towns uh, as we are, um, and have determined that we receive 1% less money on average than the other towns, and we spent 1% more. I'm figuring on eight million bucks. If we're plus or minus one percent, I think we're doing okay. Didn't say we're doing great, but I'd say we're doing okay. Okay, that's that's your point of view. There you go. That's so, Madam Chairman, we're gonna move. Yeah, we have things to do, David. Do you have much more? No, I think um, I'll let you know when I'm done here, Clarence. I think. Um, yeah, but we can't have it, no, 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 like I'm I just, told you. Yeah, I, I told you a few weeks well, ago. 
at a meeting. Great. Well, I'm not dragging this out. I have a lot of questions. Right. You should get on the agenda with your questions and give them to right. us, and we'll answer them. Okay. Write one, them down. One other thing here, just real quick here, is I noticed in the Quaybar current it says that um, when I speak at public access, that I'm depriving other people in town um, of their right to speak because they're not here. I, I think that's. I don't think that's correct. If somebody wants to come up here, like myself. A concerned resident who cares, or just wants to come up here, they should be able. They should be able to come up here. There's plenty of chairs here, but to say that, to, to make that statement, I think you're. I think he's wait. actually misquoting what was yeah. in the playback. No, no, I didn't. So what was? I did not misquote it. Oh, you want me to look it up? Yeah, I can pull it up. Oh, right Beth, don't. We don't have time, Beth. Okay. But I'm just saying, if I if I speak here, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not speaking on behalf of. But a lot of, of time, any, you know yourself, when things go in the paper. A lot of times the they're not correct, right? That's it. But I think my point is, when I speak here, I'm not speaking on any per individual on here. I'm just speaking in general for the town. Yeah. I'm not speaking okay. on so, any. That's what I think. That's so. But what he's misquoting is that the the article says that by not putting it on the agenda per the mm -hmm. chair's guidance, you're cheating people of the opportunity to know it's going to be discussed. So that's that's not how I took it. If you follow if you follow our chairperson's guidelines and put your topics which may be important to somebody who may want to come listen or put their input in, yeah. then let's get it on the agenda per her guidance. What if I want something to get on the agenda? Yes, but just in general, different things, I'm not yeah, going to put it on the agenda. Yeah, but a lot of things, though, David, that you do bring up should be on the agenda, and we right, should... Right, you told me that, and I will do that in the future. I will do that in the future. Point of fact, point of fact, okay. Madam Chairman. Mm -hmm. the All right, I just was, wanted to bring was, that was fact asked. up. Madam Chairman, mm -hmm. a question was asked with respect to free cash. We do not, we were unprepared yeah. to be able to provide that answer. Mm -hmm. Had that question been provided to the administrative assistant, we went, might have had the, the opportunity to research and have an answer to the question. Unfortunately, because we, we didn't have that opportunity of that question, we did not have an answer. I'm sorry that that happened, but the reality is we did not and we're not prepared. Right, because okay. you're not done doing the financial statements. But if we had known that you wanted to know part of it, we would have been prepared. Yeah. This is why I tried to tell you to call. Certain things I will, yes, I will get on the agenda. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Our next one is the award from the CDBG contract for the ADA self evaluation and transition plan. There were, um, I know we, have, we were awarded this quite a while ago, but they had put out. Um, four different quotes, and I only got two back. Yep. <clears throat> and the lowest one was from the Center for Living Work Incorporated, and it was for $24,600. And that's Andrew's yeah. recommendation. Yeah. So we have, um, and that was uh, Andrew Lowe's uh, recommendation that we do that. So I would like permission to sign the acceptance. Of Motion to sign the CBBG contract for ADA self-evaluation. I'll second that. Any discussion? No. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Good work by Andrew. You know, so you know, it's good work for the for the committee too. You know, CBG committee. Yes. They yes. do a lot of hard work on it, and I yes. appreciate it and want to thank you for that. Yes. Okay. The next is the Snow and Ice account. Oh no, oh that one was, we can do it that way. Yeah, we can take it. Oh, we can take it back. Snow and ice count. Uh, Herb is requesting permission to deficit spend the snow and ice. The current value in, balance in the account is $16,400. And I guess usually, I don't know, uh, we usually give them, I think, a limit. Karen had called them today of 35000 yep. So do we want to give them a limit of 35000 Yep, motion to okay. move so as recommended. Prefer, if you prefer you not to put a limit, if you need to, then 35000 is a figure to go by, but he preferred not to have a limit. Oh, he preferred not to have a limit. Then that's fine. Okay, that's fine. Motion to, uh, motion to approve the highway department's recommendation. I'll, I'll second, second that. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 And you won't have to do it again if you don't Right. Okay. Right. Now that also, ha do, do you know, uh, 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 Madam Chair, is it all right if I uh, check with Mr. Gillis about when the advisory committee's next meeting is? Oh, sure. Um, when's your next meeting? It's going to be on the 8th of February. On the 8th of February? Correct. Okay. Um, typically, both, 
both our board and the committee has to approve that um, uh, the deficit spending according to I believe that's according to Mass General Law. I'd have to check. So, um, is there any potential to get a quorum together between now and then, if we're if it looks like we're going to have any significant weather? I think so. Okay. okay. I, I can't imagine the problem with that. Okay. Um, I will uh, maybe party around that tonight. Okay, great. Thanks. Because uh, it can be a it can be a short focus meeting if folks can't get a full meeting on the agenda. Certainly. So. Yeah. Uh, the next one is we're going to go on to the FY 2019 budget discussion, and I'll turn that over to Beth. Thank you. Um, just the reason why, I just, I just wanted to kind of um, get calibrated with the rest of the Board of Selectmen, is that historically speaking, the advisory committee has kind of kept the whole budget process very tight to their chests, and then we get the budget kind of at the last minute. And what I'd, I'd like to see if we could set up this year is a little bit more of a kind of like a review in parallel where the the top numbers come in, Terry's pretty much running the process, which right. I think we've all concurred on, mm -hmm. but that as the numbers come in, that we just kind of like drop it into our agenda to review it as well uh, in parallel to them. They would go into the deeper detail. We would take a look at the high numbers and just say, hey, does this make sense based on what we've, we've looked at in the past? And that way, if we have any questions about any changes in numbers from previous years, we can kind of send it over real time to the advisory committee and, and perhaps have the whole thing go smoother instead of having one massive joint meeting towards the end of the process. Would, yeah. Do you think that would work? Yeah, yeah, because I know, yeah, I think it would. Plus, like Carrie told us last week, she's really doing, going to help them with the budget. So basically, right. getting she's the information. getting all the information, and she's doing, I wish I had her, but I thought it. Yeah, I thought I had a copy of her memo too, and I, I didn't I bring it I had with a me copy today. Ready to bring up with me tonight, but I didn't have it. Right. But she is. She. I think this is what she was um, because of the weather today. She was home, and I know she was working on the budget today at home. Right. And all the budget sheets. Right. And the, probably the the other piece of it is is the tendency is is we don't really get a levy sheet to the advisory mm -hmm. committee until right close to the end, and it and and that was the one thing that I'd I'd like to to at least inquire about with her is to see oh, if we can sure, do the levy like, sheet a little yeah. bit farther up front so that, you know, if you're doing your own home budget, you start with how big your paycheck is. You don't start with, you know, necessarily what the bills are. No, I wanna, I'd want to. i like to have that earlier, too, cause so we know what the money is before the meeting. Yeah. Instead of finding out that night. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. And, and, and that math can be done well in advance. The only thing that's a big question mark, and we just... You know, it, it, and it's it's very easy to kind of use a working number mm -hmm. is the yeah. cherry sheet numbers, yeah. the, the state money that's mm -hmm. coming back. And if you just, in essence, use the prior year, it's usually close enough, at least for planning purposes, and then you can kind of refine it right close to the and meeting. I once, think we'll have that through. early enough, because last year, with you know, Carrie's first year, yep. you know, she did well last year, but now I know she's more prepared. And she, you know, she's gone to school and she's learned a lot more in the, in the yeah, past yeah, year. Absolutely. So I know that things will be done more efficient this year. Oh, a absolutely. And I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm not in any way questioning yeah. that. I'm just, I just wanted to kind of get concurrence amongst yeah. the whole group okay. that, that we might want to, you know, kind of depart from how it's been where it just solely resides with advisory and just do that kind of parallel yeah. review and, and not have those those massive and painful joint meetings at the end, you know, so. If I may, um, just if you'd like, I'm happy to step over there. Sure. Um, a couple of things that I can think of to help facilitate this. Uh, one is, um, well, our next meeting is the 8th. We were, what we're planning on doing is, um, uh, outline a you know a timeline plan for face-to-face -face mm -hmm. meeting with departments at, at that point what Carrie said to me is that she was sending out on the 12th of January budget requests um, and I'm pretty sure that that went on that day and, and so we're on track uh, we're going to outline the plan for face-to-face -face meetings and then um, and except for a few of them they go fairly smoothly and so perhaps we just as they're approved, just 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 bring them over. Yeah, exactly I mean, no, no big deal, yeah. right? Um, and then um, 
one of the things that we'd like to spend more time with is the is the the levy side, the the income side. So um, you know we've we've got to get a hold of yeah. those departments tax. One court, thing I would like to suggest, I, I would like to see have once the budgets are turned in, I think I would like to have a copy come to board, right? So That's, that we do know you know just what these budgets are, so we know ahead of time too what people are requesting instead of finding out you know towards the end. Well, and the real question are variances. Right. Again, back to my comment on eight, eight million bucks, we're plus or minus a percent. If we're going to be eight million bucks plus or minus a percent, and that's where we are, then we look at the variances and understand the variances and then move on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. So if you could get us, you know, when they come in, if you could get us a copy <coughs> so that we can see how, how it's going. Just to be clear, what, what I proposed is that the majority of them will be approved either that night or soon thereafter. And, and once upon approved, boom, it, yeah. they would come right to you. It, it, if that's acceptable to you, that's rather than giving you an incomplete yeah. That's, yeah, that would be great. Yeah. budget. So, yeah, yeah. okay, or specific okay. request. Okay, great. And anything else? We're, we're you know, we're, we're working very hard to be, make sure we're on the same page. And then, you know, if you would like to say, a different meetings if you would like uh, one of the board members you know to attend the meeting you know we're, I'm willing I'm, I'm sure we're all willing to come in tonight if you want to request one of us to come in and we can sit in on the hearings yep with the different departments we maybe would welcome some, that maybe no. some of the ones like you say do have the big variances you know we can come in with those okay that'd be fine to understand yeah you know Ken Cleveland always brings donuts so uh, <laughs> you, know, you know you're welcome yeah I have to bring nuts and berries then to balance <laughs> that out. But uh, thank you, and uh, nice yeah, we'll, we'll we'll get on that. <clears throat> Move very long. Yeah. Thank you. So was that it, Beth? That was it. Oh, yeah, just, that was easy. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I just wanted to talk about basically process. that process yeah. and and just to, to work a little more in parallel, like you said, to, okay. to look at it as it goes. Oh, sure. So. Ah. Okay. Then, any, anybody have anything on the other to bring up today? Oh, I did have one question. Um, I had a, I had a, like a, a in passing inquiry from a citizen about a, a couple of different topics. From a standpoint of appropriateness, would you prefer that I just forward that inquiry straight to Karen and you decide which of us looks into it, yeah. or um, and I can also provide some some background information that I'm aware of. So um, I'll do that and then. Um, before I get send a formal, any type of formal response. Okay. So. Excellent. Okay, that's good. So we got it, Clarence? Okay. I'm, I'm good. Okay, all right. Under correspondence, we have um, the SAFE grant award for the fire department. Uh, this came from uh, the state fire marshals. It said uh, that I am pleased to inform you that the F FY28 student awareness of fire education and senior grant applications have been a proof of funding. The Brookfield Fire Department has been awarded $2,808 for the SAFE grant and $2,150 for the senior SAFE grant. Excellent. That's excellent. So that's a good thing I'd like to take and congratulate Chief Martell for that. And then this other one here is, um, uh, this one came to Mr. Snyder. It says, yeah. from the Commonwealth of Mass, his Mass Historical Commission. It says, in this office, uh, process final reimbursement of your federal survey and planning grant on 12-29-17, underpayment voucher, I don't think I have to voucher, to, in the payment of $17,500. Congratulations. Thank you. Good to go. Okay. There was one on that for me. The mass dot. Okay. This also came in from uh, mass dot. It's an update project review committee approval letter. Okay. The purpose. It said the purpose of this correspondence is to provide information regarding the mass, the new mass dot highway division project intake tool and the updated project review committee approval letter. It says the highway division streamlined project indicate processes 
use a new web-based application designed to help both state and municipal proponent maps and initiate new projects. This tool will provide time saving to project proponents by reducing the need for rework while also reducing the risk of unanticipated permitting. Throughout the fall of 2017, MassDOT provided workshops through Bay State Roads demonstrating the new software. Workshop applications had the opportunity to create a test project. The new project intake tool is being used as the primary interface for all project creations. So that's about what they have to say. So. We do. And one thing I can say, you know how we've talked about all the old um, telephone poles that are up there? Um, I took a, I, I usually walk when we have good weather. I took a walk yesterday morning and they were out on Quaybog Street, National Grid, and they were marking all the different poles with X's that need to come down. So, maybe, maybe. <laughs> in our <laughs> lifetime. But that's what they were doing. It's the yeah. first time I have seen any effort. Because I know we've talked about that, taking down all these old poles yeah. that are connected up with the other ones, and they're all wired up. Right. Yeah, I mean, and they did do the two on Central Street. They finally did the one that was over by the corner of the church, and they yeah. did the one that was right in front of the town hall. Yeah, so. oh, okay. okay, now um, I'd like to uh, go into executive session under number three to discuss strategy with respect to collective bargaining or litigation if an open meeting may have a detrimental effect on bargaining or litigation p position of the public body and the chair so declares. And then after we will adjourn from that and go back into regular session to adjourn from that. Uh, um, I like the motion. You have a motion to move to executive session. Lincoln I. Snyder I. Kaufman I. Okay, we're all set.